Ah, the baby voice. A direct flip in style when we think of where hip hop has come from since the 90s and early 2000s. To me, it's like Biggie wearing a brightly colored Kooji sweater. The two contrasts go so well together. Opposites always attract. On one end, we have a man who survived the path to success, defeated poverty and truly lived the American dream. And on the other end, his prize, a brightly colored sweater, somewhat of a trophy to show what his mind could achieve. The sweater represents overall success, by the way. The story of hip hop hasn't changed much since then, but today, it's easier than ever to just attach yourself to someone else's style and hope to blow up. It's a safe bet, right? But the hardest flex, the hardest flex would be to completely flip the script and show the world something they've never seen before. Shake the imitators off. A huge risk for a high reward. The hardest flex. To stand out in the 2000s was to be as aggressive as possible. But in 2019, you could probably get robbed by someone in skinny jeans. Times have changed, haven't they? So where does this leave hip-hop? Hip-hop has always been the echo of what society thinks but cannot say. Tom, working his 9 to 5, can't be aggressive at work. So he listens to rap on his drive home. It feels his soul. Hip-hop speaks on behalf of him. Our battle is not on the battlefield, but in our mind. This allows hip-hop to be in a state of experimentation. The power of audio software and streaming allow us to create whatever we want. Not much to lose when you can label your track as being a leak, right? So why do people like the baby voice? Who knows? Comment below. I'm interested to see what you have to say on that. So for today's session, I went with the SE2200 for its flat sound running into the Neve 1073 preamp to get some analog grit. I decided to compress the vocals within the session uh, using the LA4, which you'll see uh, later on in the video. On the computer end, I'm using a bunch of different plugins. For those running a stock VST setup, I've got a free VST version of this FLP, as well as the one you're watching in the video in the purchase link below. Also check out my recording course so you can learn exactly how I set up a template and record vocals in FL Studio. Save time to maximize workflow, that's what I believe in. Alrighty, so now it is time to check out the mix that we have. Uh, you know, we got the Cardi style baby voice going on right now, you know what I mean? So stay tuned, I'm going to break down, you know, some free plugins, some paid plugins, and, uh, you know, really just how to achieve the style. So let's get it. I'm a promethalene fiend. I put fanny in my lean. Couple racks in my jeans. Couple racks in my jeans. Think I'm Cardi, young Cardi. I just pull up in a Audi. Pull up on the gang. Got them guns like the army. Pull up bad wood up. I spill my drink. What the fuck? Double cup. Pull it up. Black rock star. I'm a punk dick. I got many bands. Yeah. I'm with the bank. Yeah. Cause I'm with the gang. Yeah. Flexing like I'm Kid Cuddy. Got racks. Then she love me. Got racks. Then she love me. Got racks. Then she love me. Still pulled up. Yeah. Still got that honey. Bali, yeah, that's that hookah. My shooter got a scooter. Yeah, that boy from the UK. He be sipping Bombay. He be like, What's up, mate? <laughs> What's up, mate? I'm a promethazine fiend. I put Fanta in my lean. Couple racks in my jeans. Couple racks in my jeans. Think I'm Cardi, young Cardi. I just pull up in an Audi. Pull up on the gang. Got them guns like the army. Alrighty, nice and flawless sounding to me. So, you know, as I said before, man, I like what, you know, we can do with uh, just some basic vocal mixing. You know, we, do, we don't need to go too crazy. Obviously, most of the plugins that I have on, on this chain right here, we're not using, they are the free alternatives. So you could use either or. Some of the stuff are things that I did beforehand that I'll guide you through on as well. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So, you know, we've got our main vocal and ooh, and we have an ad-lib track, right? We have our beat. Those are the three elements really that we are making use of. We've got a couple of effects here and there. Um, you know, those are extra additions if you'd like to add them. You know, they add, you know, kind of this Pierre uh, playfulness. You know, I think that's definitely part of Cardi's style. Um, that's why I think Cardi and Pierre link so well is that they just complement each other's uh, style so well. So in terms of the mix, you know, we've got the vocal, which I'll solo real quick. I'm a promethazine fiend. I put fan in my lean. Couple racks in my jeans. Couple racks in my jeans. So, you know, we got the high pitch going on right there, all sung, you know what I mean? It took quite a while to get, you know, that, that tone right, but, you know, it's pretty easy. Um, 
But in terms of the mix, right, so the first thing I do, uh, hopefully you, you watch the compressor in the video. So I'm going out of this output right here. This is a hardware output. You don't need to do this, um, but there are things you can do to achieve that sound. So as I said before, I start off by running the vocal into a preamp and then into a compressor, right? So after doing that, so you could emulate that by using this EQ right here. Okay, I got this Neve EQ. That's kind of what goes on on my Neve. And then you could use this emulation plugin right here, this channel seven, and then use it on the Neve setting to kind of get a bit of uh, console warmth added to your vocal. Okay, I get that question a lot. From there on out, what I do is I feed, you can feed that into a compressor. This Yala has definitely got the same kind of tone going on as the LA4. And uh, I've kind of emulated it as best as I can to kind of do the same thing. Um, or you could just use this completely stock plugin for the Mac users. Oh no, this, this, this will work with Mac definitely, so that's not a problem. But you got two options, you could use both if you like, you know what I mean, really cut up the vocals. So, you know, we do EQ, then going into compression, all right? That's what I do hardware style that you would do in the computer if you don't have any uh, outboard gear, okay? So obviously auto-tune as well, these are the Cardi auto-tune settings. Definitely do a video, a clickbait video soon. You know, baby voice, Cardi things, man, those always get way more views than the, <laughs> the vocal effect. Um, videos but yeah so that's what we do those are the settings these are generally the settings i use all the time anyway so you know it's really about your performance so you know after that what i always do is a bit of delay right so this bit of delay is just gonna you know give our vocals a bit of stereo width I'm a prom and it's just the tiniest amount of delay you know what i mean works for me okay so if your vocals are scuffed i really take pride in you know this is the only eq i need to do for this this direct instance all right and i got my vocals kind of sounding crispy all on the main vocal we'll run through some more stuff but um you know if you're if you're really stuck with the vocal sound you don't like your microphone then these kind of eqs will definitely help you you can use one or the other or all doesn't really matter i would use either the pier or cardi style eq and then use this if you are using a lower end microphone just to kind of get rid of uh, resonances and that kind of thing you can kind of skim the frequencies and then find what you don't like and then dip you know what you don't like you know and you should end up with a more open sounding vocal so that's kind of all pre stuff you know what i mean uh this filter is just really on the beginning or at the end of the track i think you know what i mean over here you can see oh i, I deleted that so it doesn't really matter uh yeah so that doesn't matter anymore we could actually remove that that doesn't matter anymore um but yeah, on the main vocals, really where things, you know, uh, are happening, you know, that's kind of where we get our tone. Uh, really not too much. I use the NS1 because the vocals were a bit noisy. This, this LE4 is old, so it is pretty noisy. That's the downside analog gear. Uh, you get quite a noisy vocal, but I like it. It complements that kind of gritty New York style, um, but still keeps things clean. Um, so I use the NS1, right, just to do a bit of noise gating. From there on out, what I do, and you can see that noise right there, you know, uh, from the compressor. So what I do is, I like using this meta flanger, you know, just to wet the vocal up a little bit, it kind of spreads the vocal. Um, and so you could use the fruity flanks. I always use the fruity flanks. I've just been using this more so because I watched the video and I quite like the sound of that. So you use a flanger, right, on both the vocals. So we've got the ad lib and the vocal going on. And um, yeah, this is just the automation effect at the end of the song. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that just pops in over here, you know. Guns like the arm. Just puts that da, 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 in the background that's not really too relevant but what is relevant right is this eq right here so i'm using a neve style eq now you could use something like this this is what the curve looks like i've kind of analyzed it and looked at it but i'm using it in parallel right so that means i'm blending it in with the original vocal um and what i really do is i boost the hack out of the treble right so this is the treble band right here boost the treble and then really dip the bass and then I just blend it in with the original vocal and then it kind of gives me half and half. It gives me the brightness I want, but it's not too crazy. You know, if I was to use the whole thing, Guns like the arm. you know what I mean? It doesn't sound too good. So we blend it in. You could use this, doesn't really matter to me. Um, so yeah, next thing I did was a bit of stereo width. So I use a little bit. One is the default setting. So as you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of stereo width. Now for stock uh, VST, you could use the Fruity S1 and just use the stereo separator, or you could completely not use that and just use this knob right here. Um, but that, that'll be after the limiter. So you probably want to do it beforehand. So that's why that's there. And yeah, we have a um, MV2 at the end of the vocal chain just to kind of squash the vocal just a little bit. It's kind of a compressor. You could use the sound guys. It really does the same thing. It's kind of doing like upward, downward, multiband compression. Um, so yeah, that sounds really good to me. And yeah, that's pretty much all on the main vocal. So in the ad lib, what I do is I do auto tune, you know, same thing. But I really wanted to get this effect of like crazy, you know, uh, effect on the auto tune. So we'll kind of listen to stuff solo. Let's listen to with the beat, no main vocal. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? Insane. I absolutely love that. To me, that kind of sounds like Offset. You know what I mean? Offset would use this. You know, we're really in that ballpark of like kind of friends and family vibe. You know, just to get that sound to really, you know, pop out. So those are ad-libs, man. On the ad-libs, we've got a telephone effect as usual. You know, I like to mix my, my background vocals animated. They've got to be telephone effect, affected. Um, then I run that into an insane reverb, right? So this is the insane reverb going on. And then we use a sound goodizer, right? Huh, I actually use the sound goodizer. That's cool. Uh, see, sounds good. <laughs> Surprised myself. Okay, so fruity flangers, um, and then we use a fruity panomatic just to pan the vocal a little bit, you know. So as you can see, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. you see what I mean? The vocal kind of bounces from left to right, uh, and that's that fruity panomatic. So what you want to do is you want to go to pan, and then just mess around with the speed. So the speed at which it goes from left to right, and then the amount is how far left to right it's going to go. Uh, so yeah, those are two obviously our vocals. Um, on the beat, I don't think I'm doing anything. I really like the way the beat sounded. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, all the secret producers out there. And, um, you know, with the main vocal again, I'm doing a bit of reverb. So I'm using this SP2016. You could use a free reverb as well. Doesn't matter really what reverb you're using. Uh, it just needs to have a long pre-delay and a long decay. All right. All reverbs have pre-delay, mix and decay time. Okay. So that's what we do. And then for the delays, I've got um, quite a crazy delay going on right here. So let's find where our automation goes on. So right there, for example. So... Yeah. Wait, let's turn the vocal on. Racks in my jeans, couple racks in my jeans. Think I'm Cardi. So as you can see right there, Cardi. So we got this crazy delay going on. And, and the way I get that delay to bounce so much is I'm actually using, well, we got a distortion, we got a flangers. But then what we have is we've got one delay that, that goes at a certain time. I think it's at four. I think this one is at four, yes. And then we've got this one going at... Um, a half note delay so we've got these two delays that bounce in and out this is a free vst i think there should be a mac version available um, maybe not but this doesn't really matter man you could use two of these and then just obviously go for a different value and, and you'll get that that sound um, but yeah that's pretty much what we do flanger you know we're just using a fully flangers uh, i'm using the a2000 but it is on the flanger setting so you know Party, young card, I just pull up in a audi pull up on the gang got them guns like the arm on the back wood. And that just adds a little bit of stereo width to the vocal. Um, so yeah, mega delay as well, man. We got this crazy delay, which I don't really feel like running through because it's kind of intricate, but it just pops in from time to time. So this is the automation for. I'm a pun day. I'm a pun day. I got many bands day. I'm gonna make the bang day. Wait, there's probably a better place. Love me. What's up, mate? Love me. What's up, mate? Whatever, it's all crazy delays, but it works, okay? Uh, so yeah, man, that's pretty much the whole song. I don't really have too much else, man. Check the link in the description to cop. Um, you know, up your game, you know, so you can have some fun. You know, this sound doesn't need to be perfect, so you don't really need to focus on all the little intricacies. I'm not going to stress you out with that in this video. Um, you know, mastering stuff, man. I will switch out some of the stuff I haven't done yet. I'm using 2% of API EQ just to boost the 15K, which is a bit of treble, so something like that. And then I'm using 50% of the pull tech. Um, I will replace this with the analog obsession rare for those who don't have UAD, because obviously a lot of people aren't using UAD. I'm just making full use of my UAD card, all right? The thing was expensive, so I'm making use of it. So, you know, there you go. I'm actually gonna buy this Black Friday. It's coming up, man, cop some stuff. But yeah, then again, you watched me in my last video, Favorite Waves Plugins. I just use a bit of this to get more loudness, and then I just use a uh, but more fruity limited get a bit more loudness and that's pretty much the whole session so if you learned something make sure to smash like as well as to subscribe and you know comment below if you think the baby voice will be relevant soon you know in the near future do you think perhaps going to become baby voice who knows but regardless man thanks for tuning in i'll check you out next time peace out